Hello ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing? I have just launched a course on Skillshare on how to create a modern PowerPoint template. You can get 7 days of Skillshare Premium for free and watch this entire class for free. Link is in the video description and in this video let me give you an overview and share one of the lessons from this class. So let's go! Hello everyone! Throughout this class I'll teach you how to create your very own awesome modern PowerPoint template. By the end of this class you'll be able to create custom PowerPoint templates for your personal projects, for your company or for other people. Who knows, maybe this class will inspire you to become a PowerPoint template creator. My name is OneSkill, well that is my nickname, my real name is Kasparas, I live in Vilnius, Lithuania and I love creating PowerPoint presentations. I have been creating PowerPoint tutorials since 2014, I have created many PowerPoint templates myself, I have tested many templates created by others and in this class I'll share with you everything I know about what makes a PowerPoint template awesome. For this PowerPoint class you don't have to be a PowerPoint expert, you will become a PowerPoint expert. I do my best to explain everything step by step, zoom in when needed, show keyboard shortcuts on the screen. And for this class I'm using Office 365 on Windows, however any PowerPoint version that you have will do. This class is perfect for teachers, students, freelancers, marketing experts, speakers, everyone who want to take their presentations to the next level. Alright, so let's get started. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this lesson where we will be creating these awesome letter image placeholders for SWOT analysis. So let's jump to our class project and let me show you how it's done step by step. Let's uh, duplicate our last slide. Let me zoom out and clear everything so we can just select everything and delete. So we are left only with a logo, footer and slide number. Let's actually choose a blank slide layout from our layout menu. That's beautiful. Alright, so for this huge letter I would recommend to use a special font. It's called Winter Glisten. You can go to this website, dafont.com, type in Winter Glisten and you'll find this free font. So let's just insert a text box. Let's increase the font size to 500 and let's type in S and let's choose Winter Glisten font. All right, let's rotate it a little bit. And now let me show you how we can convert this letter to a vector shape. So for that, let's just insert a rectangle. Let's send it to back. Hold down the shift key and select uh, the letter and choose intersect. And this way we have converted this letter to a vector shape which is awesome because now we can do anything that we want with this letter. So let's increase the size of letter S and position it any way that we want. All right, and now let me take care of these guys on the right side. We can copy some information from our previous slides to save some time. All right, let me change this icon to this beautiful shield icon. That's awesome. Let's make two more copies aligned vertically. And we can always turn on the guides to help us uh, position everything nicely on the slide. All right, that's awesome. So now let's just cut this letter S. Let's hit Control X. Let's go to Slide Master View. Uh, let's duplicate this uh, blank slide layout. And let's paste our letter S. Now we can insert a huge image placeholder. Let's make sure it covers uh, this letter and let's send it back. Hold down the shift key to select the letter S and let's choose intersect. This way we have created this custom letter S image placeholder. So now we can rename this layout to, for example, S. And now we can choose this layout from our layout menu. That's beautiful. Let's insert any image that we want. Right, and let me just grab this shadow from our footer. Awesome. All right, so now let's add some animations. Okay, so as always, we can use some animations from our previous slides. So let me just copy this flying animation from this uh, subtitle. All right, flying animation with some bouncing end. And now let's just use the animation painter and paste this animation to all of these objects. Let's make sure that we have the correct directions. So for the letter S, let's use from left. And for all of these guys on the right side, let's choose direction from right. Okay, and as always, we can add some delays. So for this first info box, let's add 0.2 seconds. For the second one, let's use 0.4. And for the last one, let's use 
easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so now you know how you can create your own awesome SWOT analysis slide layouts. And in the next lesson, we'll be creating some device mock-up slide layouts. That's awesome, and I'll see you there.